You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, not bad. I had a day off today. Oh. An unexpected one, so it was nice. Oh. In the middle of a manic week, I was like, no, do you know what? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it was good. So what you been doing? Absolutely nothing. Oh. It was really nice. Oh. Yeah, just okay. to chill. Okay. Nothing. So we're going to do the core therapy first. Yes. And but then reflexology. Would you like to stay like? down? Thank you. Anything I need to know? Any changes from last time? Or no? no nothing in particular? Okay. Okay, so... Let's do some kinesiology first of all. If you could give me an arm, I'm going to push and hold. Okay, a little shaky. And hold. That's better. Raise a leg. I'm going to push and hold. And the same again. And hold. Okay, it's just your left side, I think. So coming up and hold. Okay, same again. And hold. Okay, interesting. I'm just going to see if you've got a hairband on. No hair groups in, yes. Yeah, okay, it's all right, it's fine. And arm and leg and hold. That's better. Right, that might account for it. Let's see. And hold. Yeah. Can I just get you to have a glass of water? Yes, of course. I think it might be dehydration. Muscles are a bit shaky. Um, that's not always dehydration, but when I pulled your hair, it told me it was. I might have a glass as well, actually. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your tone is in, by the way. Oh, it's lovely. there for you, thank yeah. You, you like the morning mist, do, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, arm and leg and hold. Okay. And hold. Right, okay, so it's right side. The leg was dropping a little. I'm just having a little feel behind the pelvis. About there. And hold. Oh, that's better. Right, okay, so it is right side of pelvis, and this arm and this leg this time, and hold. Yep, and hold. Okay, can you put two fingers here, mm -hmm. just on your jaw hinge? Nope. Opposites, <laughs> and hold, ah, that's better. Okay, now this hand to that mm -hmm. side. Perfect and whole better because you're supporting it and then two fingers doesn't matter which hand cool. on this side arm and leg and hold no okay and then this hand over here I think it's the left yeah. side of your jaw and hold yeah so basically I found a week what we call a contralateral test okay. And then you supported where could be causing a bilateral contralateral, which means both sides. You supported it and it went strong when you were supporting your left side. Yeah. Didn't make a difference when you were supporting right. Okay. So I'm just going to treat the left side of your jaw. I will be looking at... Uh, both sides, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be the left that will feel a little, yeah, it just feels a little tight in there. Do you grit your teeth at all? Or, More recently, yeah. Yeah, and, and clenching at night? Yes. Or, yeah, okay, could be done. I mean, sometimes it's down to dental work, you know, having the mouth open for periods of time. Okay. Or it could just be stress. I mean, a lot of people don't even know they're doing it. Yeah, I can feel it releasing already. Lovely. Let's retest the contralateral and hold. Oh, 
Can you feel the difference? And hold. Brilliant. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on. I want to have a look at the pelvis because of that Ipsy test that came up as a fail earlier. Just for seeing if they're soft and mobile. Seeing if they're balanced. Is there any pain there? No. Good. Looking at knee and ankle balance. Feet are fairly symmetrical. That's a good sign of the pelvis. Looking at clavicle. You can hear pheasants roosting outside. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do some pelvis tests. Um, actually, can you bend your elbow and put your little finger to your thumb? I'm going to try and pull apart and hold nice and strong. So I'm just, if you keep it there, and I'm going to keep coming back to it and hold nice. And again, and hold, lovely. And hold, good. And hold, okay, slight. And hold, good, okay, so that was that one. Just gonna update my notes. So that's ACES, yeah. Right, and TMJ, okay. Right, can you bend your knees and raise your head off the pillow? Give me a nice straight arm, I'm gonna push and hold. Okay, a bit shaky. Um, back down again. Um, actually, sorry, knees back up and then tilt them over one way. Turn your head this way, eyes go up to the corner, arm up again, and hold. Okay, and everything the other way round. This arm up, and hold. Okay, and everything back to the centre. I'm just going to grab your hip and shoulder. Arm up again, and hold. Okay. And hold. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, called the uh, pitch roll and yaw. And a pitch roll and yaw is the walking mechanism. So pitch is when you start walking. It's what I call the jaw jut. So whether you're coming out of a chair or literally just starting walking, you have to come off balance. So um, it's all about the neck. And if the neck doesn't want to, then you'll produce a failed test and that's what happened and then there's a roll which is when one shoulder rolls in and the opposite shoulder uh, hip rolls in and it's a bit like flying so a plane can go in absolutely any direction you can even do this which we can't do when we're um, you know in a car um, but walking we can sort of do any direction and so a roll with a shoulder in and a hip in and you weren't happy with that whereas you were happy with the yours y-a-w which is when the opposite shoulder comes out and the hip comes out while the other two are coming in so it's all sort of like lots of figures of eights going on all the time um, and so my job is to make sure that all of those are working well together and not fighting each other okay so what else or one test how's tummy all right no, but yeah. yeah can i just have a little feel yeah. no that's fine So I'm just halfway between tummy button and hip point on your right hand side, just feeling the ICV, which is the iliosacral valve. It just feels a bit tight in there. Is that sore? Uh, a yeah, a bit sensitive. Yeah. So can you put two fingers mm -hmm. into that area? Mm -hmm. 
just where I am, quite deep. And then with this hand, bend your elbow and little finger and thumb. I'm going to try and pull apart and hold. Oh, strong. Okay. So it's okay. Yeah. So because it's sensitive, I am just going to release it for you. So can you give me three nice long breaths? Okay, well done. That should help. Okay. Um, have you had any pain this week or since I've seen you? No, not really. My left shoulder's always been a bit achy and it's still rumblings of achiness, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Good. Okay, we'll just have a little retest of that then. Any headaches? No. Nope good sleeping okay no. no no is sleep the worst thing yeah at the moment yeah okay okay so do you normally sleep well after a core therapy no you don't no okay i think it's just because um my mind's quite awake after a core therapy oh really <laughs> okay but um yeah no recently it's been quite broken my sleep okay all right Oh, right. Okay, we're going to do some kinesiology for that then. So, see yourself in bed and going to sleep. Okay. Okay, and see yourself as you have been recently with your dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, bend your elbow for me. Give me a little finger and thumb. So, you're in bed, you're undergoing normal recent activity and hold okay there's absolutely no strength there you didn't even try actually <laughs> I'm just focusing on, as usual focusing on the other thing that's going on <laughs> okay that's all right now I want you to think about your lovely comfortable safe happy place mm -hmm. be it your armchair a beach, a forest, top of a mountain, maybe being on your own and you are comfortable and you are safe. And hold. Okay, rock solid. Okay, now I want you to think about bringing that comfortable and safe, that happy place to your bed tonight. Okay, you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And hold. Okay, it's strong. It's strong. So that's better than I'd hoped. I thought normally when I do something like that, there's a little tweak. Mm -hmm. and, and it's trying to hold, but it can't. And I'd say, right, let's do the treatment and retest it afterwards. And it should be strong, but you're strong already. So we can always test it again later, but I think it'll just be strong now. So it's all about bringing in that safe, comfortable, happy place yeah. to the place that it needs to be mm -hmm. it, into the bedroom. Okay, right. You can turn over. I'll just put some tissue down. Can you bend a knee? Can you raise the knee off the couch? I'm going to push here and hold. Hey, that's strong. Great. Same with the other side. And hold. Hey, brilliant. Okay. That's a really good sign. I'm just going to have a feel of the neck anyway. Wow, we've got a serious chain going on here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now going into some tween art. Oh, your back feels really warm. It's lovely and warm on this bed. Yeah, heated. 
<laughs> oh, well, I would do anything to get you sleeping. I must admit, if I'm cold when I go into, into bed, I find it really difficult to get to sleep. So hot water ba- bottle or heated blanket. I've got those um, full body ones, the full body hot water bottles. I don't know what that is. They're like mega long, as long as your body, but quite thin. And they just keep your whole body oh. warm. They're lovely. Oh. Yeah. And you can sort of hug it. Yeah. Oh. It's very nice. Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah. A full body hot water bottle. Gosh. Wow, that, that must take a lot of hot water. It's not too bad because it's thin. So it's just uh, oh, okay, okay. Wow. Okay, so how's this feeling? Yeah, Is that bad, yeah. yeah, okay. So just for the benefit of the camera, I'm now doing some tween R. And this is all about first of all having a little suss out of the spine, see what the spine is telling me. It should be nice and fluid, flowing, soft and smooth, so that wherever I give a little pressure, the rest of the spine should respond with a beautiful waving, curving action. And the other reason for doing this is to encourage blood flow. If there's enough blood flow already, then that's good. It will be a beautiful reassurance to the blood that everything's okay and there's a nice free-flowing circulation. But more often than not, when I'm doing this, I'll find an area that's a little bit tighter than the rest, maybe a little bit stuck where one vertebra may be slightly out of alignment, whether it's subluxated, which means just popping left or right of where it should be, or whether it's fixated, which means it's fixing, it's joining on to the vertebra next to it far too closely, almost like it's in spasm. So. At the moment, I'm feeling that this area here between the scapula, would you agree with that? Yeah. Is a little bit tighter than the rest yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. So this area, so bra line is good. Kidney area, waist, lumbar, sacrum, glutes, a little bit tight around here, about there. Um, which often accompanies neck strain neck tightness and spasm, crick necks. Okay, so just feeling it there, right in between the scapula. It's different on everyone. I do see uh, tight lower backs and tight, tight lumbar, sacrum, tight pelvis quite often. Um, And maybe with those who spend long hours at desks, at computers with a mouse and a keyboard, maybe that's more the area where the upper back will be tight. So just giving it a little tween R and it's the area is going nice and warm. And what I want for this area is that it goes soft and palpable, but that there is a spring back, a bounce. And that's with the muscles and the structure. So I'm getting my phenar muscle at the base of the thumb deeply into that furrow along the side of the spine in between the erector spinae muscle and the vertebrae. Yeah, so it's shifted a little bit now. It's gone a bit higher. 
So this is now still between the scapula, but slightly higher. So what I'm going to do is some wing stretches and drunken walks and then retest it to see what it tells me. Actually, there's something I didn't do with you. I wanted to test your shoulder. Would you mind go, coming back over just for a few seconds? Are you all right with your head in the face yeah, hole? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because it's only brief. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So can I just place your arm there? Mm -hmm. And with this one, can you give me the little finger and thumb? Okay, so arm is there. We're going to test and hold. Nice. Can you put it to 90 degrees just out from you and hold? Lovely. Can you put it 180 degrees up by your ear and hold? Okay, good. And then up into the air, you know them. That's it. Thumb down, little finger and thumb and hold. Okay, not quite so much. Turn your hand round and hold. Okay, so that was just thumb down was the only mm -hmm. one really. Okay. okay, so I think your shoulder's getting better. So um, but interesting, so thumb down is when we tend to sort of shut a door that way. Oh. Unless you can think of something else you do with your thumb down going that way. No. <laughs> is it, it's just, yeah. Oh, that hurt. No, I don't know. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh there you go. That, that confirms it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, you can turn over for me. I sleep like that, actually, thinking about it. How do you sleep? On that arm with my, with my hand out. Oh. Like that. That's probably why, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Now that you've said, what do you do? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to stop sleeping like that. Well, that's <laughs> difficult to tell the body that, it isn't is, it? Yeah. It would just do it during the night. Exactly. <laughs> oh. just going to put the couch up. It's weird to watch in the hole. Oh yes, yes. 